Hi, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to my house in Carmel Valley. Come on in. <laughs> Allison Kenworthy, the founder of Homeworthy, and we're now offering a membership plan that gives our supporters early and exclusive access to new videos. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Roz. You're here at my home in Los Angeles? Come on in, I can't wait to show you around. With this membership, we invite you to open more doors, discovering new homes, rooms, and personalities available only to those with the keys to our guest house. You'll be part of a community of people who are just as passionate as you are about interior design. Before today's episode, click the join button below to support all of the storytelling we do on this channel. Our growing community of members help to directly fund more videos so we can capture these extraordinary homes from around the world. So join today to receive early and exclusive access to new Homeworthy videos. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. My name is Jonathan Rackman. I'm an interior designer, and you can call me an author too if you want to. We are at our, what I call, humble hut. It's our country home in Carmel Valley. And it is a, uh, a ranch style house that we've renovated, my husband and I, uh, during the pandemic. The style is for me just truly, uh, what you see is what you get. And this is how we live our life. We, uh, it's a, a reflection of our relationship and collection of our memorabilia. Uh, from our travels collection as well as family heirlooms and sentimental items that we don't want to get rid of yet. In fact, my husband calls me, this is uh, the uh, hoarder chateau. So it was during the pandemic, we used to live in the Bay Area and I had this nightmare of, oh my God, I'm going to die in this high rise, um, you know, suburban and looking at a parking lot. We used to live in Carmel, downtown Carmel, uh, in the weekends. So we loved this. We loved this area, and um, I wanted uh, to go back to just having more privacy, more land. Uh, I miss the backyard and front yard. So anyway, we made an offer of a house in Monterey, and we didn't get it, uh, thankfully. And my husband con constantly looking on um, online, and he said, "Oh, there's this. Look at this uh, charming." Uh, home. I mean, it's, you know, it's in the country and we see there is quite, um, you know, a, a lot of oak trees and land. So I drove right away on my own. As soon as I walked in or get out of my car, I saw a pile of uh, uh, firewood and that uh, one check, that's like, I, we love it. And the second thing, we, I just walked around outside and we saw the view um, and I instantly fell in love with it. I FaceTimed with my husband. And then as soon as I walked in, we know this house wasn't perfect. It, uh, we call it the choo-choo train uh, house because it's one long house. It's like from one end to the other, it'll take you a few minutes most probably. But as soon as I look at the, uh, this baby right here, uh, uh, wood fire stove insert I just you know this is it we made an offer the afternoon off and we closed within eight days so it was truly love at first sight I always tell people how much I love this house I love my house I love my house and you know uh, for some people this is nothing this is just like a, a ranch style house from 1970s but this house is not perfect but it is perfect for us We've been together for 30 years. What inspired us is my mom and dad. I call them the Loro Blonio. Loro Blonio means the uh, inseparable couple. Uh, they were together for 65 years, almost 66 years. My dad actually just passed away. When I say just, um, it's been 16 months. So it's still raw and um, they inspire me. Their love for each other inspire me. Um, how they love us and um, accepted my husband just as one of uh, their son or their son-in-laws. But also uh, where I was born uh, in Indonesia and uh, my travel as far as where I live in Switzerland and France in my past, in, in my past uh, the whole East-West thing, 
uh, just experiences in life inspire me. So welcome to what I personally call the great room. My husband was being ironic and uh, always sarcastic. That's his sense of humor and he always calls it the Grand Chateau. Which is funny because there is nothing chateau-ish about, uh, about this room. So what do I want to point out about this room? First of all, I love, I love the um, insert uh, stove, the stove insert for the fireplace. This is the heart of the home. I found this and just perfect. And it always looks like it's smiling. This is where uh, my husband and I on cold days always just sit down here, have our cocktails. Or when we have uh, guests, that's where we have them over. And what I also want to point out is this amazing pattern. Uh, it is a pattern of, from my childhood memory, and that's how I put my stamp in the house, one, of, one way of doing it. It's um, what every child in Indonesia was taught to do pattern when we had our arts class and drawings. And what's interesting is this last trip, because uh, we live uh, both in Bali and here, we went to Java to get a, um, a reading based on our uh, Javanese market calendar. And we learned, uh, and I didn't know this before all my life, that based on my um, husband's birthday, that is his pattern in the Javanese, uh, what they call Prambon uh, calendar. And guess what I found right here? It is amazing a batik that also has his pattern and the color is amazing and for me that's just uh, serendipity in design. Uh, the sofa and the chairs I got from Cheris, one of my favorites, and uh, Anna is fabulous if you know Anna, Anna Brockway. But this uh, sofa and chairs we refurbish, uh, we add uh, you know proper paddings and whatever needs to be um, uh, upgraded and then cover it and this is one of my favorite fabrics from Schumacher and um, my husband decided to have this colorways and I'm so proud of him. This chairs, uh, I love, again it was during the pandemic, I love vintage items, I don't want to buy new stuff so I find it on Cherish uh, but I want to engage my husband because this is also his house uh, to choose the color scheme, what makes him happy and so the same way I work with um, my clients, I want to make sure that they, they like it, they enjoy it, and it is their home. So I engage my husband as to what color scheme he wants. Originally, actually, believe it or not, I'm not known to be a neutral person, but this house called for some neutrality or a neutral scheme. But I, I was so surprised when he picked out uh, broader colors. This is my own design book that was just published uh, by Flammarion recently, and the cover is done by De Gournay. Uh, my memory at the Carlisle, that's the only hotel I ever stayed in New York. And you see more books and books and books. Givenchy is right there with Audrey Hepburn also. And some, um, that's my late mother-in-law, Stephen's mom. And our old, um, one of the first few dates we had most probably, or first few years of our relationship in Carmel. So this is a very, very important uh, part of uh, the world for us. Um, coming here uh, to the dining table and dining chairs. The dining table is, I found in Bali, but it's from Java. It's a Javanese Dutch colonial style. The legs are beautiful and a marble top. And it always reminds me of my grandma because this, when we used to go to cafes or restaurants with my parents and my grandma and my family, these are um, sort of the style of tables that we found in Java, all over Java. I have an amazing story about these chairs, uh, this dining uh, room chairs. I have a set of eight. They're actually gifted to us by a very generous uh, couple, clients of uh, mine. I used to be their uh, uh, florist. I used to go into their uh, home that was um, designed by Julia Morgans um, in uh, San Francisco. And later I became their interior designer. And at some point, uh, they moved to Idaho and they didn't need this chairs anymore because the, the, the house they, they wanted was a completely different style from the one in San Francisco. These chairs were actually acquired by them um, at Chrissy, Chrissy's Monaco, I believe. And they used to be owned by Karl Lagerfeld. How amazing is that? And the fabric is um, made uh, from horsehair. Love the details and the hooves. I believe this is from the 1800s. 
Um, I have the exact pr uh, provenance information, but uh, that's pretty much what I can tell you right now, but it's, it's still in the original condition. Uh, the fabric's been uh, changed, by the way, but I love how they go, just the perfect uh, curve uh, that um, goes with my dining table here. Moving on to the window treatment. Um, this fabric, actually it's called uh, Andy from the Sisters Collection that I designed for a company called Ellis Dunn. It's a woman-owned uh, small boutique fabric company. Uh, Mary, my dear friend who owns uh, Ellis Dunn, asked me to design their first pattern collection. They used to only have like grounds and uh, plain neutral uh, fabric. So this is inspired by um, a set of women uh, that I admire. So I love strong women. I wouldn't be here without women. And uh, I was raised by a lot of women in my life and I named this after uh, one of uh, my friends. I believe this is iris linen that they printed, but, but with ha has a little metallic. I love the chartreuse, I love the French gray, so the combination works really well. And um, the trim, I believe is Schumacher. Um, I'd better confirm that. <laughs> I think it is, but I love the embroidery and it just works perfectly with my uh, Schumacher chairs. And this French day bed is where I actually lounge when I have cocktails by myself while my husband is cooking for me. First of all, I want to talk about this uh, Art Deco style furniture that I actually found in California that's been refinished and I put in my favorite elephants, uh, uh, doorknobs that's given from our uh, fairy godson, Sean. But this uh, furniture was made in my mom's hometown in East Java. So just by chance, I found this. And when I heard the, uh, the origins of this furniture, I just fell in love with it. Because that's the thing about me. When I select things, especially for myself, they have to speak to me in a sentimental uh, or uh, um, a romantic way. And I, uh, I love finding furniture that was made in my mom's home hometown, but I found it in California. I love bust. They just, to me, they're the um, uh, classic elements, but I'm obsessed with them. That, and this is only partial collection here. I have 10,000 square feet warehouse that I store all my stuff and I have more bust in the office in the warehouse. The mirror I found with uh, Judith, my general manager, who's like my sister in Pamplona, uh, right before the pandemic. It's maybe one of the oldest thing that uh, I own here. It's uh, from France. I believe it's from 17 or 1800. The same with uh, the barometer that actually I got from a, uh, from a dealer in San Francisco, Antiques Art and Exchange, one of my favorites, Howard and Keith. The best, I've known them for decades. Uh, what else can I tell you here? Um, <laughs> uh, our wedding picture, when I took his picture while he was being taken a picture of my photographer, his uh, uh, younger picture. And here you must wonder what is, this is all about. I like to create stories and uh, one of my host moms uh, is from Italy. And this uh, map of Rome is over 200 years and I just create like sort of my own family, my found family and I love intaglios. What a gorgeous man, look at that and just how people used to dress. Um, this is also so cute, a boy in a cape. And this is also maybe, this is the oldest art or item that I own. It's from the 1600, look at how in a way, it's very, very crude, very, um, just very simple. And this, two things. First, I'm obsessed with out of Africa, but these are not African elephants. These are our adopted Sumatran elephants that we support in a sanctuary in Sumatra and when they were babies. So uh, if you, later on, you'll see throughout the house, you will see, uh, I have lots and lots of elephant figurines and sculptures. Uh, from this tiny to this big. Oh, there's one of them. <laughs> uh, what else can I tell you? This is from uh, uh, an English uh, train station, I believe also from the 1800s. Um, so we just put candles up there. Another Louis Philippe old um, mirrors that I found also uh, in Spain. This or two are uh, Balinese uh, temples artifact that I found and ship them here. 
I just found this 1845 Victorian, either a child's or a little lady's chair. Perfect for my footstool or just when I work with the fireplace. Let's turn around here and look at this. I call this my Balinese wall. Everything from here is from uh, Bali. Uh, the art that I collected with the exception of this too, this is, I found this in Carmel Valley actually. But the color scheme works. I love this. Uh, I have a lot of memories and stories about each one of them. Uh, the rice paddy farmer makes me just um, think of uh, my um, hometown and my home country where I grew up. These two were uh, at the Amman Resort done by um, orphans that we supported. They are uh, mute and deaf orphans uh, that's raised by an orphanage that we support as well as um, they were our 20th anniversary, my generous clients. They gifted us a trip as our 20th anniversary, which was 10 years ago, uh, a trip uh, to the Amandari. If you don't know the Amman Resort, you should check it out. We are a bit of an Amman junkie. There are about only 28 or 30 in the world, and we've been to maybe half. Um, Ed Tuttle was the famous architect and designer, um, and unfortunately he passed away, and I wrote about him, actually in one of my uh, lifestyle journal called Disini Disana. But, so we purchased this in their names, but we love them and we kept them. And it's interesting because this was um, both painted by uh, two teenager uh, boys. And he was at the time uh, a dancer or they both were dancers uh, as part of just cultural uh, education and just uh, culturally that's what they do they raise everybody to be dancers or musicians and um, because they're orphans uh, one of them told me that he told this uh, mother and daughter and just broke my heart and just very very uh, important and sentimental to us um, and just um, we we love to support um, uh, orphans or people uh, children who are in needs or uh, people with disabilities and his best friend painted next to him just the, the, the opposite of the mood of this. It's very happy and very whimsical. The rest are from local artists in Bali. This is by the same artist that I found at the Oberoi. I can't remember his name. It's written somewhere here, Nyoman Armadi. Uh, but just very intricate and uh, just local scenery. This is a sentimental one um, because this I purchased as I was holding my mom's hand, walking for a brunch after our oldest fairy godson got married at the Four Seasons Gym Bar in Bali. And we're just walking in hands and the artist in residence was actually painting this. And I asked him, oh my gosh, what is this title? Um, as he was painting and he said, playing with mother. I was just like, what? <laughs> I was sobbing and I had to have it and I carried it myself. And my husband uh, um, chose this hand carved uh, mask, traditional mask uh, from uh, Bali that's gilded. And um, ever since, I don't know how long, we've had them maybe over 20 years. The um, entry, gosh, where do I start? Uh, a pub table, 1700 from England that has the original leather uh, top emboss with a uh, heavy iron work at the bottom my elephant 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 elephants more elephants this is where we put our keys and uh, hats and stuff and just a collection of paintings and uh, portraiture one is gifted from um, our dear friend's mom who no longer with that who's no longer with us she was a painter the rest i found i just fell in love with her this is the reproduction of a photograph of Lady Rose that she gave us permission to use during my um, decorative showcase in 2019 in San Francisco. I used the wallpaper, uh, the Gurney um, uh, made uh, after Lady Rose. Uh, she is the Marchioness of uh, Houghton or Norfolk in England. And um, she found a scroll of unused uh, wallpaper in the attic from, I, I believe, 200 years ago. So um, the Gurney uh, did the um, uh, copy or the reproduction, hand painted, everything's done the traditional way. And I was the first to use that 
uh, pattern, the Hang Hao pattern uh, in my showcase. So I just love her. She was a model, she's gorgeous. Uh, she is one of my nieces um, and just works perfectly here. Um, <laughs> Our collection of canes, uh, this is actually uh, Stephen's grandpa and later, later used by his late dad and most probably someday it'll be ours. But I just love all these different umbrellas and can another the gurney. I'm obsessed with the gurney uh, umbrella. But look at the elephant, uh, isn't that cool? During the renovation, which almost took a year, we actually live in the house. It was during the pandemic, we just moved from room to room to room. My husband essentially almost divorced me at the end. And like the last week, it was his push. He said, and I'll go, go back to what we did. He said, um, if you're not done by this week, I'm moving into the hotel down the, down the hill. So um, we actually did everything from the hardwood floor, all the windows and the doors, interior and exterior. Uh, we basically gutted the house with the exception of this room. Uh, because we love the beams, we love the natural wood, uh, all of this we didn't touch, but we, I did a, uh, I, I had an artist hand painted this pattern. Uh, the kitchen, we kept the cabinetry, but we, uh, we, we did the countertops, we got a new, um, that, that itself was a nightmare, a smack, it was a cute, it, it's a cute stuff, cute color, but they sent us the wrong, um, Size. So imagine after waiting for three months for the stuff to arrive, they send a bigger size. So we have to wait for another three months. What I want to point out here is this amazing antique Chinese uh, fishing basket. I turned them into pendants and that's just how I like things. You know, we don't have a perfect kitchen. It is how we found it, the layout. We redid the cabinetry. Uh, the glass cabinet, the countertops from Da Vinci uh, marble. Uh, love the uh, stove that gave me a lot of trouble because uh, it was during the pandemic. We waited for three months, smeg. We love the color. Again, I repeated the, the hand-painted pattern there on the backsplash under the hood. We love the, uh, the window. This is very Carmel Valley where we could put planters and oil lamp. Sometimes we have power outage here. Uh, and we use the oil lamps. I love this uh, French uh, uh, pot rack that I found and the color is perfect and everything else is either my founder pot that we used last night and um, uh, my husband uh, antique copper collection. By the way, you, you, you've noticed this most probably, not only it matches my interior here, but this is my dad's, my late dad's favorite um, uh, ring that he wore. He had a lot of collections, but this was one of his favorites. So I'm wearing it. I never took it off. So here's our hallway. And as I said earlier, this house is not perfect, but it's perfect for us. This is the entry uh, door. So there is not really a, uh, a reception area. We did think about adding uh, an outdoor porch, but nah, this is good enough for us. It works. This hallway used to have a laminate uh, floor. And now we have uh, put in um, French pavers, outdoor pavers that I use indoor. Again, from Da Vinci Marble. All my husband's um, collection of uh, paintings he's collected. Before I met him, one was done by this lady who had like health issues. And she sold these paintings uh, so she could have enough um, medical uh, fi um, funds. And my husband's super sweet and he wanted to support her. Instead of putting crown molding, I had an artist painted, hand painted the fretwork and I found this corbels, an antique corbels that has similar patterns. They're, they're not part of the house, but I just added them. I love adding things, fun objects, artifacts that go with my aesthetic or, you know, what I feel good about. I also found this tiny little Greek key that has the, this is the inspiration color for the door. It's not sweet. Benjamin Moore, I'll find you what the color, I think four is something. All right. But also in this hallway, besides painting all that, check this out. Here we go, Schumacher trim with Ellis Dunn fabrics. The trim has this, uh, the identical um, pattern. And this is also the same fabrics, the gorgeous, gorgeous Iris linen ground that I designed pattern for, for Ellis Dunn. Uh, laundry, which I'm not gonna show you, that's uh, our dirty laundry, literally. <laughs> 
And this cabinet wasn't here. There was like this really funky, totally cottage farm style that's rickety and has like a chicken uh, wire mesh and it wasn't functional. I built this for two reasons, three. One, I need the storage. Two, um, I have a collection. Uh, some people call me Imelda. I have collections over 200 pair of shoes and these two cabinets house part of it. The top part is my memorabilia and old photographs that I organize here. Um, there's a medicine cabinet up on top. I'm not gonna open it, but the linens looks pretty decent. There you go. You can see that. And I'll, I'll just show you a real quick collection of these shoes, partially. <laughs> and candles. Okay, and I have spaced it just right so it can house my, I believe this is from Sumba, uh, an antique carving. I don't have a specific style, but one thing I know, uh, my, the title of my book is, I can see it from here, it's called Currently Classic. That is the formal style, what I like uh, about my style is, I, it's, typically it's always classic. You can't pinpoint what period or, uh, I don't follow the trends, I don't, um, you know, I don't like when I, I, I see a style, say, oh yeah, that was, we designed that in 1985 or 1990s or mid-century or all Art Deco. I like the house to reflect the, uh, the, the style of the owners, not my style. I, of course, I'm the designer. I will guide them through the process and I will always tell them what's, you know, what works, what doesn't work, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But typically, if you have to classify one style, it is my style, it's currently classic. It's always classic, it's always current. Uh, we are in 2024, we don't want a house that looks like a museum. We don't want a period house. Uh, I want it to be comfortable for the owner. Um, and um, I've also been uh, dubbed as the master of mixing the East and the West because I was born in the East, but I grew up and live in the West. And now I'm actually splitting my time um, we call ourselves the Balifornians. So we live part-time in California, part-time in Bali, so we go back and forth. But all the interiors and the design and the decorations is a, a combination of what we've collected throughout our life, be it from our travel, from our family, and from our um, anniversary, uh, gifts, whatever it is. I, I don't like uh, a design home, period, anyway, personally. I don't like to go into a house like, oh yes, this is designed by such and such, or uh, that whole contrived matchy-matchy or like, I know some people are super symmetrical. Uh, I have clients who go crazy if I do something that's non-symmetrical. If I put this chair here and the other chair looks different or different style of chair, that would just drive her crazy. She likes two commodes, la, la, la. and you know, I will respect that. But as far as for my own house, I, I don't try to design it. I just, I design from the heart and that's my style. Um, what feels good to me, what looks good, and what makes my husband happy, that's my style. This is my powder room. I'm an island boy at heart, no matter where I go. So the island, uh, when I can't find an island or tropical things, I created my own. So this room is inspired by my uh, home country, Indonesia, Bali, Java, where my parents are from. So the wallpaper is Thibo, including the one in the ceiling. The uh, copper, uh, uh, caning work is from Bali, that's handmade. The vanity is one of my favorite um, uh, furniture in the house. It's an old antique commode from Java that I converted into vanity. The top um, marble is original. We did a cut out for the waterworks sink, but we added this uh, shelving marble. But everything else is uh, original, including the beveled mirror. Um, I want to just point out something to you about uh, Waterworks life uh, finish here. Uh, uh, this is one of my favorite fixtures. A lot of people mind, they want that pristine brass look. I actually don't mind it at all. I love the patina. It just continues to patina as we use them. And that's just, for me, that's real life. And I love antiques, so why not? And I, I'm not one of those designers who like matchy matchy, who love matchy matchy. I mix, uh, this is all right, bronze, there's brass, and there's white finishes. The tile is also from Da Vinci, but it is inspired by uh, the island life. There's a beautiful antique Venetian mirror 
uh, that's in the shape of pineapple. Pineapple is a sign of uh, a symbol of hospitality, so I love it. And this is where my guests go to use uh, the pad room. So welcome to your room, because if you're staying with me, this would be your room. The first thing I want to point out is these two things. One is the wallpaper, which is the bow. I like to give my client options. In this case, my husband is my client. And he chose this Thibault uh, wallpaper for the color scheme, the pattern, everything about it he loved. But lo and behold, when we were moving, I found this batik hand-painted fabric that he bought the first time, one of the first trip he went to Indonesia, maybe in 1995. And I cannot believe how they just complement each other almost perfectly. Not almost, to me it's perfectly. These two uh, cocks, uh, roosters, we bought them because they're cheesy um, uh, mid-century things that um, reminded my husband Steve of his own identical uh, ones when they grew up, but they're not the original anyway. Again, I like to create a story uh, in, my, in every room, so, but some stories truly really are real. Uh, one of them is that. But another thing I want to point out is this um, duvet cover. It's an antique uh, fabric that I find from France, but it's made by Judith. Judith is my general manager that you know, that who's like part of the family, like my sister. And we didn't have enough fabric for the, uh, the other side, and we got this fabric from Otis, uh, Otis Textile. Um, the rest, just things I found, this is a gift again from a different client. It's can you imagine? This used to be a pillow for the Chinese uh, from over 100 or 200 years ago. A woven hard pillow. That's how people used to sleep. This is hand-knitted and given to us by, we call her Anna Loretta, who just passed away last year. Anna Loretta is the aunt of my dear, dear friend who's like family, Bob. And uh, we call this room Bob's room or Judith room, depending who spent the night here. But this means so much to us. And um, she was ahead of our, her time when people used to look at us funny just because we're two men, she just simply loved us and embraced us. And this is her gift uh, from many, many years ago. The bed, I had to fight my husband uh, and the dresser. He loved the set. It used to be our bed in our uh, uh, place in the Bay Area, but he refused to give them away or sell them. Uh, so I would have had a upholstered bed, but he loved, loved this uh, set. So I have to um, compromise, right? Uh, a good compromise. The chest, the cedar chest inside is lined with cedar, was uh, commissioned by my late father-in-law, Stephen's uh, father. And now it has all my sweaters and Stephen's. Some, I mean, not all, but some. And these top part, the antique um, treasure uh, English treasure box. This is where I house all my, uh, not all, some part of uh, my dad's uh, belongings and memorabilia, his old wallets, letters, pictures, handkerchiefs. So after they both, they both pass away, um, this is where I, we keep our dad's uh, memory. Um, same thing with this <laughs> silly. It's nothing fancy. It's actually maybe from the 50s or 60s side table. This is actually, this belongs to Stevens. Um, family so we kept it a love chinoiserie and look at more is never enough uh, this I believe it's decor de Paris uh, if I'm wrong forgive me it might be Samuel and Sons no this is decor de Paris this is Samuel and Sons I believe um, and the uh, lamp was made from an antique tea canister that I found and converted into a lamp besides being a guest room this is also my dressing room or my closet in this house. So I'm not gonna open that nightmare, what's the inside? <laughs> but this is where I dress, so mirrors everywhere. Uh, one of my most valuable, uh, well, because I am crazy and sentimental, is this chair. It's been reupholstered with beautiful linen, but it's one of the oldest chairs we own also from the 1800s, George the uh, from Scotland. I know the dealer. She used to live there, but she's now in Carmel. 
I have another one in different, um, different um, shape and uh, fabric in my uh, primary bedroom. But check out this. I love elephants and check out this antique little baby. How she's, she or he's all beat up, but I love it. Pictures of our friends, loved ones, uh, fairy god children. Um, they all house their house in this room. Books and books, some more books, uh, both his and mine. This is a beautiful, beautiful friend's gilded mirror that I found. Um, so I would dress here, get ready and stuff. And this photograph is crazy. I never really had proper photograph of my grandma and grandpa. <clears throat> so in a way, they are not my grandma and grandpa, they're complete strangers. My dear friend found this and give it to me. And her friend actually was the one actually found it in a town that's not too far from my mom, my grandpa and grandma's uh, village uh, from Yogyakarta. And they live, uh, Yogyakarta is a famous town because it's near um, the one of the eight wonders of the world, Borobudur Temple. <clears throat> and that's where my parents, my grandparents uh, are from, not too far from there. And for me, they're just my adopted grandparents. At some point, I turn it into an artwork on a plexi, and I call it Eternity is Too Short, Eternity is Not Long Enough. I'd like to um, imagine that somehow they're still together. Judith also did this, uh, did all the treatment. Um, she helped me with projects sometimes. Um, as a general manager or project manager, she's also very, very crafty. What I love about this house, as I mentioned earlier, all the um, French drawers and every room, almost every room has this drawers that you can open and look at the um, outdoor and sometimes guests could just have coffee or just hang out and uh, have some peaceful time. Uh, I have to point out the fabric again, it's from Ellis Dunn. Uh, this is actually the Belgian linens that I love so much. I love the thickness and it has grow grains that's uh, sewn in into this fabric as a pattern as part of the uh, sister collections also. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to take you to the mystery or the mysterious bathroom that used to be. And it's, it used to relate to this room where this bookshelf is now. There used to be a door here. And I will tell you more about that bathroom, which is now our primary bathroom. It was so odd and weird when we found this house, but now we've made it uh, work for us. There is one funny, funny uh, story about the bathroom. Uh, our master bathroom now, we have a tub, double sink, and a wet room, basically a shower. But before that, which I will point it out to you, that was like the mystery, uh, Winchester mystery house. That bathroom has two doors, imagine this. Uh, two doors from one room, but it's not like Jack and Jill uh, doors. It's like one on one side, the other one's on the side wall. There are two vanities, separated, two toilets, and a tub in the middle. Um, this is really funny, but we could basically hold hands if we sit down on our thrones. Welcome to the, uh, what I used to call the mystery bathroom. This is one opening that we kept. The other opening uh, behind the bookshelf earlier I told you about, we closed it. So we converted this into our primary bathroom because it's closer to our uh, primary bedroom and my husband's office now. So we built this custom um, double sink with a tower which is super super practical for us. We have a lot of lots of makeups. <laughs> no I'm kidding just a lot of you know uh, skin products and stuff. The I love the marble. I like my bathroom to feel like spa like because I'm a bit of a spa junkie as well as an Amon junkie. I love my Amon candles. You should check it out. Um, Anyway, but this marble, it's called, uh, I believe, uh, it's not uh, Giorgio Armani, but Grigio Armani or Armani Grigio, one of them. Uh, same um, with the uh, taps, the uh, plumbing fixture, it's from Waterworks, has a live uh, brass finish and it continues to patina. I actually love the verdigris uh, accents as it develops. Uh, patina. So as I'm one of those people, this is too much information maybe, but some people take a bath and they dry off. I just want to rinse off because I don't want that soapy water on me. So I love the exposed uh, shower head from also Waterworks, all from the same collection. But one more thing, check this out. I'm just going to walk to my, um, voila, and another <laughs> 
part of the bathroom that I love. Besides the heated floor, I have an automatic toto, uh, very hygienic and um, self flush. And the um, uh, I don't have to touch the lid; just opens on itself. Uh, also, the seat is heated. I'm not a modern person. I always like some romance. So guess what? I found an antique screen um, uh, from uh, Shanghai, from China, and um, I just placed that outside of my um, bathroom, and I can look out from my garden, but still have some privacy. And I have a, little, a bit of a fern um, a garden out there as well as uh, a, a French uh, giant capital um, sculpture. So just love the uh, calm spa-like, but still has some personality. So welcome to our office. But before we talk about this part of the office, let's talk about this corner a little bit, which is full of memorabilia, etc., etc. This corner it's our dressing corner for a few reasons um we have our steven's uh uh dad's commode here and we put our sunglasses and cufflinks and you know buttons and pins stuff here but also what's here is sort of like his uh his uh dad side uh of the family memory his great uncle is actually uh, or was the governor and senator of Iowa. And whenever we went to Iowa, they always treat us with uh, like um, uh, a, a very important person. They used to take us to the, um, the Capitol and showed the uh, first lady ball gown then, etc. That's his dad, super handsome. He was, I believe in the army. God, I hope I was right. My husband was in the air force. Uh, but all this um, campaign buttons from as far as from the 1800s, I believe, is a collection of his family. And just love to put them in one corner from this antique cabinet I found in Bali also. And this portrait of me, here I'm being shy again, uh, is actually done uh, by a known um, uh, illustrator. His name is Marc Antoine Coulon, and he was introduced to me by my publisher in France, uh, Flammarion, who published my book. So this is in, uh, done for my my design book. This mirror is really hard to find now. I also, I found it from uh, Antique Art Exchange. This is our uh, full dressed, uh, you know, full height length um, of uh, dressing mirror. Uh, more gift from Gladys Perrin Palmer. I feel honored because he did, uh, she did silhouettes of, good Lord, from Lady Di to Dior, Givenchy, Yves Saint Laurent, and now I have my own from Gladys Perrin Palmer. Thank you, Gladys. As you know, I love fretwork and patterns and geometrical. And I did this for uh, our office, this pattern, and I love it for the ceiling instead of one boring painted uh, ceiling. Check out my jute rug, uh, handwoven. It works perfectly for this hallway, for the width, the length, everything. But if you know what they are, uh, you're gonna laugh. They are actually from Serena and Lily, um, and they're table runners, and I use them as rugs. Isn't that fun? Here is the actual office, but first, before I point anything out, this is one of the reasons why we fell in love with this property and the house, because of the view, and you'll see more from my primary bedroom. That's where we edit the um, patio outside uh, in a cobblestone um, uh, mismatch pattern, and I did a fire pit to just hang out and have picnics or uh, sunset sippy sippy. And <laughs> so this is uh, our partner's desk. That's my side. It says the doctor's in. That's his facing. His side is here. But each of us has our own um, uh, paperwork and stuff. And I still write and I'll show you more of my writing desk in, in the other room. I call this wall the wall of the dead, or uh, it's nicer when I say it's the dearly departed wall. And this is mostly Stephen's ancestors, literally, mom and dad, his mom, his great, great, great uncle, I don't know how many, and great, great, great grandmother. And we both love Lincoln, and I found this um, 
from the antique show. Uh, I, I can't remember the original what, but this is already the antique of the repro of the painting or the print. So I found this in its condition. By the way, I'm not responsible for this. Happy husband, happy life. So this is all his equipment. I, I, I fought and fought and fought, but he has to have it. Everybody said that looks like Steven. You can, you can be the judge. But I just kept it just because it's super fun. Love the uh, convex mirror. Again, more. These are adopted families. And I got him because he looks so much like my um, co-author or the um, uh, author that did the text for my book. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Dean Reese Morgan. And he reminds me so much of him, so I just have to have him. Steven's dad, high school picture, so hot. <laughs> and more of family pictures. And this is just a print that we found. Again, it reminded Steven of his childhood. He used to have that. This chair is very special. This chair um, it belongs to Steven's parents that are recovered in also one of my fabric designs for Ellis Dunn. It's named after my late sister, um, and it's a, J a Javanese uh, pattern that um, I stripped down uh, to be less uh, ornate. So this is one of the collections I did for Ellis Dunn from the sister's collection. Now, we, this is my new collection with her, Ellis Dunn, but it's called the Brothers Collection, inspired by uh, the men in my life that uh, inspired me. <laughs> Welcome to our primary bedroom. Uh, there's so much to tell here. Uh, let's start with this corner. This is our little uh, bar cart or bar tray for our quick you know, sunset when we're too lazy to go to the other bar or go to the dining room. We have a quick um, you know, uh, scotch or um, uh, cognac or rum here. Um, I found this, check this out. I have dimples. Uh, when I was a kid, I, they used to make fun of me because in my home country, only girls are supposed to have dimples, but how am I supposed to choose, right? So I found this bottle that says dimple, just a reminder of my childhood. This is a gift from a client. I love it. <laughs> uh, in this corner, just a collection of where I'm from. I was born in Sumatra, right here, an old antique map. That Sumatra, nobody knows where Sumatra is. It says close to Singapore, Australia is down there. But Krakatoa, the giant volcano that um, erupted in the 1800s, was uh, about 150 miles away from my uh, hometown. Uh, an old antique uh, map of Switzerland. I went to school there. Um, just our memorabilia from um, uh, Java and Bali math gift from uh, loved ones. Uh, while we are here, let's talk about quickly about this amazing secretary desk, uh, uh, a Swedish antiques. Uh, secretary desk that has, check this out, burled, lined with burled wood. Every single drawer, I don't know how many, I haven't counted yet, has a lot of memories from my travel or letters from my mom and dad, tick, old tickets. I still write letters, so uh, all my letters uh, or letterheads collections here from hotels or my own. So this corner is super sentimental. Uh, our <laughs> pictures from 30 years ago, um, me in a Balinese outfit. <laughs> you really want to know how my husband feels about me? It's right here. <laughs> uh, his, okay, how cute is this? This is when he was a kid. Oh my gosh. I love, love this picture of him. I can't be responsible for this part of the uh, bad uh, again. Whew, I married a straight man right here with all the um, uh, equipment, vintage equipment for the uh, music. But I love this French uh, dresser uh, that I also found from um, Antique, and, uh, Antique Art and Exchange. My husband is crazy about perfume and cologne, and this is only partial collection. He owns literally maybe close to 200 perfume. This bed. It's an old church pew, antique church pew, they're English or American, that has two angels. And it opens as storage. So storage is a plus. But what I fell in love with is this scroll, more importantly, the two angels. I asked my dear friend, um, Julie, 
uh, stones to gild the wings. When I acquired this bed, there were only my late sister who passed away and I wrote a memoir about her. And that represents her and the other side is re uh, represents Stephen's mom, late mom. Now they just represent people who uh, already departed and we miss them, we love them. So they're like our guardian angels here. The headboard is not uh, matching with the bed. That bed frame is a hand carved Javanese bed frame, again from my mom's village in East Java, but I found it here in uh, California. The fact that they, they fit perfectly, I am amazed and they just, they mean something to me, so that's why I love it. Another uh, duvet cover from Antique um, Fabric that is um, handmade by my dear Judith. This uh, decorative pillow cushion is from Lum sorry, Lumbar uh, from my fabric collection with Ellis Dunn. Every day when I make the bed, I make my bed every day. Um, I leave love notes for my husband, like Marble Heart, and this one is from the Raffles in Singapore. I love what it says. It is not where you are, but who you are with that matters. I think that's super sweet. And every day I, cha I, I change different notes or sometimes I just write my own love notes. Uh, vintage uh, light fixture, uh, ceiling fixture here. Uh, it's the sun. I just loved it. I don't know what the origin. I think it's Italian, but I found it in California. It just works really well with my Balinese scenery wallpaper. These two chairs mismatch, but I love them work perfectly, the tufted leather vintage uh, uh, chair. This is where we sit down every morning and just to have coffee, lounge, we bicker, we exchange ideas, we reminisce or listen to music. Or if you turn around, we watch sunset when it's too cold or it's too foggy or cloudy or rainy. The next thing I wanna talk about is two things. One is that chair the that one was in the um, guest room but this is the other one they, they don't exactly match the fabric's definitely different but it's uh, from scotland 1845 george iii the fabric just has an accent here is from um a gift from my uh, childhood doctor's wife from my hometown when i saw her last with my mom and dad just uh, during the pandemic she brought it from my uh, home province in Sumatra in Lampung and just means so much to me. There is this antique Balinese hand carved. Look at how intricate the carving. But the color is absolutely beautiful and this is what inspired the coloring of. If you turn around here that you see you cannot miss this wallpaper. This wallpaper is bespoke, hand painted uh, by De Gournay, as everybody knows what De Gournay is. I actually designed it for the um, San Francisco Fall Antique Show. I love all the details. I mean, super, super intricate, just like the carving. The gorgeous Balinese ladies, the monkeys, the statues, the fruits. We call this, I believe it's Umbul Umbul from the Balinese. Um, uh, traditional uh, handcrafts that they use for ceremonial uh, days. Just like with everything else in this house, I just packed everything. More is never enough. This is my nightstand or my side of the bed. This is what inspired um, the wallpaper uh, that I designed for the Gournay. And that's my mom and my dad. He always carried her purse. And this is what I witnessed all my life when I grew up. So um, they're always uh, close to me. Before I forget, I want to point out this lamp that my husband refinished himself. This is his childhood nightstand lamp. And he refinished it with new shades and that's sweet. So I kept it. Uh, I talked earlier about my late sister. Um, this is her when she was a kid. And so they just, they, um, th this picture is all the loved ones stayed next to me. This is maybe one of the most emotional pictures, portrait of my parents. Um, before my father passed away, um, during the pandemic, we had to cancel a trip. I, I lost by then maybe 12 family members to COVID. But the first time I could visit my mom and my dad uh, with my husband, uh, 
this was one of the first few nights we were with them and my mom and dad always prayed every night and hold their hands as if tonight my mom prayed the next night my dad they take turn as soon as they say amen they would kiss each other and i caught a glimpse of um, them kissing each other and my um, memory of my childhood. So I took a snap. After my father passed away, my amazing sweetheart, she's also part of the family, Monica. Monica has been with me for almost 20 years. And after my uh, father passed away, she made this uh, from my Instagram. She converted this into a canvas a portrait as a Christmas gift. And lo and behold, the same day I opened that gift, another gift arrived from Ireland. My friend, an artist in Ireland, who made a, an art out of their, my parents' hands clasping together as they were praying from the same portrait of Instagram. So Monica did their face kissing and my friend in Ireland and Monica is here in California did their hands together how crazy is that a home for me is where Stephen is Stephen is my husband uh, and especially his arms but for me a home is where I truly 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 feel comfortable home is where I don't have to walk on eggshells and um, that's the same thing what I tell my staff uh, this is uh, my second home it's my business I don't want to walk on eggshells and there's no eggshells in this house and I just feel completely uh, at ease and um, home is also a place where I want to bring the people that I enjoy to be with and my loved ones to share the moments. That's how I feel about what home is. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content, shopping guides, and so much more.